is an acronym for Laugh Out Loud, the Federal Bureau of Investigation. So L is for lesbian, G is for gay. STFU, it means shut the fuck up. QKS, it means quit teaching kids utter shit. It also means queer kid stuff. A YouTube channel with more than 3,000 subscribers whose theme is mostly like a Dora the Explorer meets some toxic gender studies class with a large quantity of brainwashing information named at 3 to 7 year old children. If you don't know what queer kid stuff is, it's my LGBTQ plus educational channel for kids 3 to 7. Hey kids, do you want to know how to grow into a brainwashed idiot? Well, you're one lucky son of a bitch, mate. Cause I got the right YouTube channel for you! Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Lindsay and this is my best friend Teddy and today we're gonna talk about gender. Yeah, before the 19th century it did. Now gay means faggotry. A cock or a vagina wanting another cock or a vagina respectively. Well, Teddy, did you know that some people aren't boys or girls? Right, some are fucking freezer, Teddy. Cockless, vaginaless, pink piece of alien fucking shit. Some people are boys, some people are girls, and some people are people. But all of this is a little confusing. If there are boys and girls and people and all of them can wear ties and dresses, then how can I tell who is what gender? That's actually really easy, Teddy. All you have to do is ask someone what their pronoun is. A pronoun is the word you use to talk about someone when you don't use their name, like he for boy, she for girl, and some people use they. That's why I prefer to understand us I prefer. When you meet someone, just ask them what their pronoun is. Daddy, I swear in the name of my alter ego, Lucifer fucking Morningstar, that if you or any of your brainwashed legions of teddy bear dare come in front of me with your lifeless little eyes and go. Excuse me, I'm unable to identify your gender, but are you a he or are you a she or... Fuck you, Lindsay. Your sexual orientation and your gender are not exactly the same thing. Your sexual orientation does not change your biological gender. Even if you're a transgender, you're still a transgender male or a transgender female. You're still a he or a she. In fact, I find it funny that addressing someone as they or them instead of he or she is considered respectful by some people. What it should be is disrespectful because you're actually dehumanizing them. At the end of the day, gender is not a social construct. It's biological. If you're born with a dick, well congratulations son, you're a male. You're born with a pussy, you're a female. Oh yeah, BTW, little kids and baby teddies, make sure to buy a he, she, they pronoun t-shirts while you're at it. Make shit up and then put them on your t-shirt and sell it as well. Bloody genius. Do you remember when your little baby bear brother was born? Yeah. And do you remember when I killed him, Teddy? Yeah. Fuck you, Lindsay. You probably learned that your little baby bear brother was your little baby bear brother. That your new sibling was a boy. That's the very first thing doctors tell you when a new baby is born, whether they're human or bear. They tell parents that their baby is a boy or a girl. That's called a gender assignment. There's something a bit weird about how doctors assign gender to babies. Teddy, don't listen to her. Her best friend is a retarded, lifeless doll. You, she's a very confused woman. Yeah, that's because there aren't only boys and girls. And because not all people identify with their assigned gender. Oh, so the doctors are wrong sometimes? Yes, Teddy. Gender assignment. Doctors assign the wrong gender. There aren't only boys and girls. What the fuck are you on? Doctors don't assign genders. You make it sound like doctors lift a baby, check its genitals, turn it sideways, take a rubber stamp and stamp the baby on its ass whether it's a male or a female. Doctors can be wrong in a lot of situations, but they can't be wrong in assigning genders because, well, doctors don't assign genders. They just check their genitals and determine if they are male or a female. Stop feeding little teddy with misinformation, you dumbass. Save the little teddy bear. Okay, so what's feminism? I'm glad you asked. 
Do you remember when we talked about gender? Of course. Well, here's the truth. Sometimes things are unfair. One of the biggest things that's unfair is that people are treated different than others. Because of their gender, girls are not always treated the same as boys. And the brainwashing begins. See, her point is to convey the fact that women are being treated inferior to men in many ways. Well, that's true. But you see, Lindsay, the coin can be flipped the other way as well. The fact that men were forced to pay child support regardless of the circumstances around conception. The fact that in some countries there are laws for preventing sexual harassment of women at workplace and not for men because, well, men cannot be sexually harassed, right? The fact that domestic violence committed by women against men is an invisible crime because, according to the society, men are supposed to be the all-powerful dominant character. Oh yeah, and of course, child custody is mostly in the favor of women. And my point being that gender discrimination is present for both men and women. Wow, that seems sort of unfair. Yes, it is. And that's why we need feminism and feminists. Because feminism is the belief that boys and girls should be treated as equals. I believe that. Then you're a feminist, Teddy! Not really, once upon a time maybe, feminism has grown into this man-hating fuck men they oppress women movement. Saying feminist these days stand for equality is equivalent to saying that gay means happy. Not anymore, Lindsay, not anymore. And if you're that caught up in spreading equality, then why don't you teach kids to be an egalitarian then? Hey, it's just a change of a word, but it actually means equality to all people. Not specifically to men, nor women, but to all people. How exactly is that the existence of the word egalitarian just magically disappears from your dictionary when you are a feminist? Let's face it, you feminist social justice warriors don't want equality, you just want women to have special privileges. And this woman just hit a new low by conveying a message that women are being treated unfair by men to impressionable little kids just so that she can push for her stupid feminist ideologies. On Tuesday, November 8th, 2016, we elected Donald Trump to be the next president of our country. A sweet talking woman with all smiles suddenly goes all sad. The choppy jovial soundtrack changes to some slow dragged up tone. Because of these results, the last week has been hard for a lot of grown-ups. I'm sure it's been hard for you too. I know you are sad and scared and confused. And she cleverly talks in the perspective of her child audience saying that they are sad, they are scared and they are confused. Why the hell would three-year-olds give a damn about who won the elections? Your grown-up probably is too. So you follow it up with their parents might be feeling the same emotions too. It's okay to feel those things. I have also been sad and scared and confused, even angry. I want to tell you the truth. Alright, then you got the kid's attention. Deliver the pipe bomb now. That Donald Trump can be a mean person. Trump is mean. Fair enough, that's your opinion. Whether that's the truth or not, that's debatable, but that's your opinion. The grown-ups who voted for him, they can be mean too. And the truth is that they probably will not stop being mean anytime soon. Trump is mean. Fair enough. As I said, it's your opinion. And his supporters are mean too. And they'll remain the same. What a way to go women. Nicely done. Nicely done. We have impressionable little kids who are very easily susceptible to suggestions. And you use that to deliver such a selfish, one-sided message to your audience to portray a particular community as evil. Blatant indoctrination of children. Children of all people, for fuck's sake women, let kids be kids. There is no need for you to shove your cancerous political statements into them. They can grow up and make their own damn decisions. Just to be clear, I'm more pissed off at the people who made videos complaining about the fact that she's sexualizing children. Who were the source for bringing exposure to this irrelevant channel, by the way. Quick context. She has a LGBT series where she explains what's a lesbian, what's a gay and so on. She does it by saying gay means a boy loves another boy, lesbian means a girl loves another girl and so on. And people have a problem with her using the word love because her audience are toddlers. They don't know the difference between platonic love and sexual love. And there is absolutely no need for them to know about it either. There is no need in teaching kids 
it's about the gazillion sexual orientations and i agree to that to some extent i mean kids need to be learning about a b c d not l g b t but then again i don't think it's that big of a problem because let's face it our audience are obviously parents from the l g b t community who are wanting to teach their kids about what their sexuality is because well they are pretty much going to hear about it anyways this channel is targeted to a very niche subset of audience most people are not even going to fucking watch it to worry about their children getting spoiled even if a kid does type how to be a lesbian for kids so videos don't even come up in the search results and why the fuck would anyone want to type that anyways it's ridiculously stupid when a bunch of huge youtubers make a video on an irrelevant channel bring it to relevancy and then bitch over the fact that its relevance is a problem you people gave 100000 views to a channel which has been asking money to fund a second season well congratulations dickheads you guys funded her for a lot of bloody seasons she's gained more than 500 new subscribers just in the past month and that's a lot for a channel of that size and that type of content and also the few minutes of research you can figure out that she has been doing plays in real life addressing lgbt issues using children and she's already faced opposition for it in real life do you really think a person who has faced real life opposition would give a fuck about what a bunch of cyber warriors think about her on the internet i don't think so i feel her channel is incredibly toxic and so are the parents who allow their kids to watch this channel It's the fact that this woman dressed up like she came out of Barney the Dinosaur's anus tries to show that one side of a community is evil without any critical reasoning. You're pretty much forcing them to isolate themselves and it's all done with an agenda. That's fucking social justice warriors for you. It's impossible to correct her or at least show the parents who watch this channel a particular viewpoint because the people who are too caught up with she sexualizing children went all keyboard warrior on a comment section when all they had to do is comment the facts instead of kill yourself. Bottom line, people suck. Appster doesn't, and her comment section isn't the only thing which is disabled. <laughs>